If the news from Ukraine distracts you from what is happening in the rest of the world and other countries, we are here to tell you. In one of the largest countries in the world and the only Muslim country with nuclear weapons, the Prime Minister was taken down from power after losing a no-confidence vote in his leadership. Imran Khan is the first Pakistani Prime Minister to be ousted by a no-confidence motion, with opposition parties securing 174 majority votes of the 342 seats in the Parliament Member House. The opposition call for the motion was first brought last week, but Prime Minister Imran Khan blocked it by dissolving Parliament. Voting took place on Sunday after the Pakistan Supreme Court ruled in favor of opposition parties and said that Mr. Khan had acted unconstitutionally. This situation is not new for Islamabad and Pakistan in terms of politics since no government in Pakistan ruled complete five years in office without breaks. Now Asharif headed the government three times. On the three occasions, the age of his government did not reach five years. Likewise, Benazir Bhutto, who was also twice a president, the government didn't last long. On the other hand, we could say that Pakistan is a country where almost no one outside loves its stability. Also, it is a country with enormous influence and impact of the army and internal affairs and a state that lives on almost constant alert due to its long and chronic conflict with neighbor India. These two countries live a step and a half of open war and fighting. A war could almost break out at any moment, and both countries have a terrifying nuclear arsenal. That would not be scary just for them but for the whole world. Regarding the conflict, there must be said that India had good relations with the West but also leaned toward Eastern powers. Although it is declared neutral, her inclinations to those who follow are always closer to Russia. And from the Russia comes many Indian weapons. While historically, Pakistan was a friend of the West more than it was close to the East, but also declared officially neutral. When discussing the alliances of these warring countries, we must note something remarkable. Pakistan, for example, is a close friend of China, but it is also close to the USA at the same time. India is hostile to China but close to Russia. It just says that their alliances are based on their interests. We are listing this part mainly because of what is happening now. Now Pakistan is divided, even if it seems like an exaggeration. But what happens is the country is currently divided between the government led by Imran Khan on one side and the Pakistani military on the other. Imran Khan came out at the beginning of the war in Ukraine to say that Pakistan would not sanction Russia. He said that Pakistan is not a slave to Western powers and their dictates. While Pakistan's Army Chief General Kamar Jave recently stated that he has excellent relations with the US and that the best equipment is from Americans. Now it seems that the Ukraine war separated the army and the government of Pakistan. Khan wants to preserve relations with Russia, and army does not want to anger the United States. This is understandable within the position of the Pakistan army, as the US is the one who sponsored the nuclear project of Pakistan. The US was also the one who supported the army's power and influence, especially its support in the war on terrorism. Pakistan has provided outstanding services to Americans during their invasion of Afghanistan and sent volunteers for Muslims during the war in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And if there was an Islamabad, it is questioned when Washington would be able to enter Kabul. Pakistan also facilitated the recent American exit from what it called the quagmire of Afghanistan. Pakistan is also the sponsor and controller of the Taliban government in Afghanistan. Pakistan helped bring the Taliban to power on both occasions when the movement ruled the country. And regarding this cooperation, Pakistan army was disturbed during recent Khan connections toward Russia, which was considered against the USA interests. Imran Khan is a very ambitious leader, and this ambition wants Pakistan to be utterly independent of the West. He was leading the development process in the country to reach the stage of total autonomy. According to some sources, the withdrawal of the USA from Afghanistan triggered Imran Khan to go on with his ideas. He saw how Washington dealt with the Afghanistan issue and withdrew suddenly to let the Taliban now to intimidate China and Russia again. Such an American double game after almost 20 years of long-standing clashes with the Taliban in Afghanistan made Khan look for his country's interests, even if it conflicts with the policy of the alliance with the USA. This is precisely what made America angry at him and why the army and opposition went against him. After that, he defied the USA and sent a protest note to the US Embassy in Pakistan against their interference in his country's internal affairs. Now it is clear that the USA is not a partner for only one thing. On the other hand, some new powers may dominate the scene, particularly China and Russia. Khan wanted to be closer to his neighbors or even join their ranks. Khan believes that Pakistan is a big country in power and deserves the right to exist and to be present on the international scene. But some external factors, Pakistani opposition and army considered Imran Khan as a man who might cause the crisis, 
not just in Pakistan. The new leader of the Pakistan government who is elected, Shabazz Sharif, is not the one we are used to. However, he is the son of former Pakistani leader Nawaz Sharif and the ideal candidate of the Pakistani army, which is still the most prominent player. The army was more stronger than Imran Khan's ambitions, despite his great popularity in the world and Pakistan as a former cricket player. We know how much cricket is the most popular game in Pakistan. Imran Khan was also one of the outstanding students who graduated from the University of Oxford in politics, philosophy, and economics. He was a member of parliament for almost 20 years, most of which he spent in the ranks of the opposition. He is the founder and leader of a party, Tariq e Insaf, a winning party in 2019 elections. This is a very popular party, making it not easy for them to surrender despite Khan overthrow so far. The upcoming elections will be in October of 2023. And all options are open.